Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Smash Remix patch overview video. We're here with version 1.3, and we got a lot to cover, so let's get into it. First of all, we have new characters, more than one. First, Marina was added, Marina Lightyears from Mischief Makers, and then we also had King DDD from the Kirby franchise added, and we'll go over both of those characters in depth. Uh, but before we do, I wanted to mention that we got some new Polygon characters. Not all of them. Uh, we got Dr. Mario was added, uh, Wario, Lucas, Bowser, Wolf, not Conquer Me Too Marth, Sheik, Sonic, and I think that is it. Yep, yep. So no Young Link, no Dark Samus, no Conquer, no Mewtwo, no Marth, Falco Ganon. Okay, so yeah, we got a bunch of Polygon Remix characters, which is pretty cool. And their models are all pretty unique. Uh, they're not exactly like their character. You know, Bowser, he looks like Godzilla. Um, I don't know the reference for the Wario Polygon uh, Wolf might also be a ref. I think there are a lot of references in, references in here that I don't know. Uh, but if you know them, feel free to mention them in the comments. All right, so first we have Marina. This is a character that I've wanted in the game since, like, the very beginning of Remix. So I'm pretty excited to see her in here. Um, got some cool stuff with the this unique uh, dash animation. She has the little boosters that pop up. Uh, this also happens during her extra jumps of which she has one, two, three, four, five. So she's got some jumps to her, which is pretty cool. You don't get a lot of height out of them, but you do get a lot of distance because her air speed is pretty good. And she actually gets a little boost off each jump because of the, the booster. It's not just for show. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty, uh, pretty mobile in the air. There'll probably be a decent amount of offstage shenanigans. Uh, but let's get into her moveset. So she has you know, some pretty basic jabs and, and tilts and that kind of stuff. Well, let's, let's get to them. So she does have the you know jab two into rapid kick, kind of like Fox. Uh, I want to say the frame date is a little different than Fox. Um, I'll post a link to uh, the frame data breakdown in the description. So those are jabs. Uh, let's get the tilts. So forward tilt is just a kick, which can be angled. Pretty cool like, little roundhouse kick there. Uh, down tilt is a swipe. Not a ton of range on it, but it's a pretty solid move. Uh, it pops up, which is always, always good. Up tilt, I, I'm told, is similar to peach. Uh, pretty crazy animation. Uh, just look like looks like she's headbanging. Uh, she does get. I don't know if you can see that. She gets some intangibility frames on her head during this. So a good thing to note. Decent coverage, but yeah, the intangibility frames are pretty legit. Next, let's get to the smash attacks. Uh, forward smash is a drop kick. Pretty solid. Uh, down smash is the split kick, kind of like Fox. Um, also, some intangibility frames here you see on her legs. Actually, you should probably dodge some attacks with that just because of how much of her body is intangible. Yeah. Little we'll split kick. And then the up smash. Um, all you uh, Street Fighter Third Strike fans out there. The Makoto. All right, so those are, we got normals down. Let's get to the aerials. So Nair is your standard kick, like most characters have. Her fair went through a couple versions, and the final one is a, a double kick, similar to Falcon. Uh, timing's a little different, but the combo potential is still there. Uh, back air is this like spinning back fist attack 
pretty strong, decent coverage. And then up air is kind of a juggling kick up. Um, also very useful for combos. And then down air is a drill kick, similar to Fox. Um, also great for just setting up things like a grab or a smash attack. And speaking of grabs, come here, DDD. Marina has a cargo, kind of like DK, right? After you grab them, you can push A or forward, and they'll go into this cargo state where you can move with them. You can jump, you can throw them forward or backwards. Well, I guess the backward is just you, know, you turning around and throwing them forward, but you get the idea. Um, but unlike DK, one thing Marina can do in this cargo is press B to shake her opponent. It's like a pummel in the later games. So the shake, it racks up damage, but it also drops one of these gems. These gems can be used as a projectile where they have essentially two charges. You see it crack and now it's, it's gone. But another thing you can do with this gem is utilize it with your down special, which is the clan pot. But before that, I want to show other throw. So other throw is just back throw. Yeah! It's a nice little spin throw. So, all right, back to the pummel. Yeah, yeah your DDD. So when you're, if you're holding an item, any item, and you press down B. So this is an absorb. So if someone shoots a projectile, you'll, you'll catch it in the pot. And the pot has levels of charge. So we're at one level right now because we had the one gem. So if we press down B and then press it again, we'll shake the pot and create a new item with what was in there. Since we had one charge, we get this green gem, which is just a more powerful version of the blue one. You can throw it. You know, it hits for however much damage. 13. It's decent knockback. Now if we had two... Shake it up, you get this shuriken. This is a really cool item. You can throw it, you know, up, down, left, right. When it connects, it brings the opponent towards you. Yeah. You see? And as long as you don't throw it at the ground or at a wall, it's not going to disappear right away. Yeah. You can set it up for up smash. You could, you know, go into a grab. You can do all sorts of things. Um, if you're off stage, and you throw it up and you hit someone, it'll bring them back down, which is pretty funny. Um, if they're below you and you throw it down, it'll bring them up and you can set up an edge guard. Uh, it's a really cool, really cool item. The level three item is this boomerang. Uh, you saw all these featured in the trailer, but we'll, we'll bust them out. The boomerang is one of the more ridiculous items. So when you, you throw it, It'll come back to you, and as long as you're there, you know you can you can pick it back up, or if it actually like makes contact with you, you'll catch it. But this this ricochet also happens after it hits an opponent. If I hit DD, it comes right back to me. I don't have to do anything. There's no like delay. You can just keep you can keep doing it. I'm not very I'm not very good with it, but. You see, you see the, the kind of crazy things uh, that you could pull off. It's a really cool item, and uh, I'm excited to see what people do with it. Now, when you get your fourth level of charge, which is the highest one, Marina will start flashing, like other characters when they have a full charge. Her max charge item is the clan bomb, which acts like a bomb. Uh, not like a Lynx bomb, more like a bomb. It's very strong, does a lot of knockback. Um, can also hurt you if you're too close, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it takes a while to get there, 
But the thing with this, uh, this down special is depending on what you absorb, it'll give you different levels of charge. Um, most things will give you one level, but something like a, like a full Samus charge shot, that's, that's three levels by itself. Uh, so if you already have a gem pocketed and you get that, you'll have the bomb. Um, if you don't have anything, then that'll just give you a boomerang instantly. So it, 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 there's a lot of possibilities there and you kind of just have to play around and see what will give you what level of charge. All right, that was a lot for her down special. She does have more. Um, her up special is just kind of a rocket boost uppercut thing. It does not have a ton of height, but it is pretty strong. Uh, you can definitely use it to uh, finish combos. Any any anything like high percent will uh, will take a lot of knockback from this. So good move. Um, but yeah, off stage I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't go too deep because it just doesn't have a ton of height. As I say that, I'm you know getting grabbing legend no problem. But uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't get quite as much as you would, you would hope. Um, it'd be nice if it reached that top plat. But, oh well. Her final special is her neutral special, which is another very unique move. It's a command grab where you lunge towards the opponent. As you can see, not the most coverage from the hitbox. Um, that makes it so you can't just kind of spam the attack, right? It has a lot of counters. Um, it shouldn't. It's a command grab. It shouldn't be super safe. But once you land this, you can then quickly pick a direction um, up down forward or backward and you'll throw them in that direction now the properties are slightly different for grounded versus aerial like here i'll, I'll do a, a grounded one grounded down throw right it bounces them off the ground um at a, a more horizontal angle than like falcon's forward throw so it doesn't have the easiest follow-ups um, you know, up, you can just toss them up. It sets up different things. And, and then forward or back just throws them forward and back. Now, if you do this in the air, the only one that's really different is um, the down throw. So I'm going to try and set that up for you. You can spike them. The spike is decently strong. So it'll, it, it should work, you know, it should take a stock against a lot of characters, uh, especially lighter ones. Take that Pikachu. But as you see, it's not the easiest to connect, and if you miss, there's quite a bit of recovery. Um, so definitely not the uh, safest option. Especially if you're recovering and you try and do it like at ledge, you drop really low, and it can be hard to get back. I think the last move uh, is her dash attack, which I recovered. It's just like her her shoulder bash, which is basically just her, her like boosting animation in Mystic Makers. But just, you know, normal dash attack, nothing crazy. Next, we'll get to DDD. So we got another big heavy character added to the cast after Bowser. So between uh, Bowser, DVD, DK, uh, we got some, some big ones in there now. And he's a pretty fun character to play. We'll go over all of his moves now. So starting off, uh, his jabs. He does not have a rapid jab like he does in some other games. As far as I know, he just has a little three hit combo there. Uh, that third hit, um, actually at higher percents, will set up a, a pretty good tech chase. You can usually do jab into dash attack. This dash attack is pretty silly and weird, but it's very strong. I'll see if I can get you some frame data here. So the hitbox doesn't come out until he like hits the ground. See the frame 22. Uh, but again, it does a lot of damage and knockback. So it's a, it's a pretty good like, tech chase option. I wouldn't like use it in neutral or anything, but a uh, pretty good attack. Uh, next, let's get to his tilts. 
forward tilt is just a little bonk. Um, but because he's using the hammer, it has pretty good range and it's a pretty quick attack. So you can, it also reaches a tiny bit below ledge. So you could use it to, to edge guard. If your spacing is really good. Um, up tilt, very similar to Marina's actually. Um, also has intangibility on his head. But, you know, it's just a, a solid, like, combo continuer. Um, it's not a super strong up tilt. It just kind of sets up the juggles. And then down tilt, this is a really fun one. So first of all, his crouch animation is great. But when you down tilt, you go into this roll. Uh, hitbox is pretty good. You know, knockback is pretty good. Whoops. But what's, what's really unique about this is it comes out on frame three. Hitbox comes out on frame three, which is very fast, especially for a tilt. So in a lot of situations, this is actually gonna be his best option out of like tech or get up. Um, not out of shield because it's not, a, it's not an attack where you press up, but out of something like forward smash, yeah, if you land it on someone's shield, you can down tilt sometimes before they get a grab off. Uh, so let's get to the smash attack. So forward smash is a big hammer swing. Um, up tilt, another big swing up. Uh, pretty cool. Very strong. But what's extra unique about this is the end of it. So he swings up. And then on the way down, right around here, there's actually a spike hitbox. <laughs> um, so pretty tough to hit that, but it's there. So you could do something crazy like edge guard with it, with the, with the big spike. That's for, for style points. And then the down smash is another big hammer swing. Um, not a lot of range on it compared to some of his other attacks, but it's strong. All right, let's get to his aerial. So neutral air, I think this is kind of what you would expect. Uh, very similar to Wario and, and Slippy. Uh, intangibility on his head. Um, I think this was mainly so that he wouldn't, they wouldn't have to increase the size of the hitbox to like cover more of his hurt boxes. Uh, they didn't want to make the hitbox too massive. So they gave him some intangibility on his head. But as you can see, his hurt box does stick out below him. Um, so not the best attack for like falling on top of someone unless they're, you know, in a vulnerable position. Forward air is just the uh, swing with the hammer. A uh, pretty strong knockback. It's uh, actually a, a solid finishing option, uh, especially if you like, you know, run off stage and hit them with it or something. Uh, it does a lot of knockback at higher percents. Down air is a spike. Because he's using his hammer, um, he gets some good disjoint with it. Um, it lingers, I want to say about as long as Falcon's down air. I have to look to confirm, but solid attack. And then the last air, oh no, two more, two more. We have back air, which is a kick, kind of like Pika's. Just a, just a big kick. And then up air. There's there's our multi-hit. Spinning the hammer around. Uh, the last hit has a little bit more knockback, as you can see. And again, since it's using the hammer, a lot of disjoint there. So great for, you know, like poking under platforms or something like that. All right, now we can get to his specials. So the first one, usual specials, the inhale, kind of like Kirby. Um, you see his, though, has an absorb hitbox. So if someone shoots at you, throws an item, whatever, he will actually absorb it and spit a star back out, which will do some damage and knockback. So pretty cool. Um, another difference between this and Kirby's is when you inhale them, you can actually move and then spit them out. 
Um, they can they can mash out similar to like a like a cargo. And when you walk off, you can't turn around and spit them, so you couldn't I couldn't like spit her under the stage. But definitely can create some funny scenarios. Ah, uh, there you just saw up special, just the big jump. I uh, see so he has some hitboxes at the start and some iframes at the start. And then he, at the top, he's very vulnerable. And on the way down, some iframes on his feet and a spike hitbox. When he hits the ground, it's a, another pretty big hitbox. So it can be a, a strong move, but definitely not safe or anything. Um, it can be angled, but once you start the angle, you're, you're stuck in it. I, I didn't do it there. But once you once you start that angle, you can't like change the direction on his way up or down. What you can do is hold down and he'll tumble out of the animation. And that'll let you drift or fast fall or, or whatever. You can also tap B to do that, but I, I like I like holding down. And then his down special, he throws and waddle D's and waddle do's and, and Gordo. Uh, and to get them, you just hold it down and charge. Uh, unlike some other games, you cannot hit the Gordo back, but you can hit the waddle D's and do's back. Uh, you see, they'll, they'll just kind of walk towards an opponent um, these guys will jump, and the other ones will shoot like a beam attack at them. Let's show that. Which does decent damage and uh, shield damage. But again, your opponents can hit those back at you. Um, the projectiles themselves also do damage, and they can be angled. So yeah, very versatile attack there. You can do a lot with it. Uh, definitely gonna be some, some crazy things people pull out. You can see there can only be two on the screen at once, so you can't like do anything too crazy, but you can definitely have like a little arm going. I guess last thing, uh, his throws, not anything special. Just a, a, you know, kind of a regular forward throw there. And the back throw, the hammer, and yeah, that's, that's DDD. All right, reading down the rest of the patch notes, we uh, mentioned the new Polygon remix characters already. Uh, some changes to the vanilla polygons, they just don't make sounds anymore on character select and victory. Uh, but our next big update, Young Link. So, as you can see, we got a model update. We got we got the, the sword and the mirror shield. I haven't played Majora's Mask, but pretty cool. Uh, apparently, his facial expressions got updated. I don't know. I really don't want to show you that one. Uh, the hitbox on his down air spike was adjusted. Uh, I think it's a little bit harder to connect now. It's mainly like in the uh i want to say like upper part so that that part near like his head in the hilt of the sword that's uh that's the spike as opposed to just like what felt like anywhere um which is nice right because sometimes you didn't want the spike you wanted the uh like the stronger like horizontal knockback uh but you were like always getting the spike so pretty good. Uh, his forward air got increased damage and knockback, so it's a better KO option now. Um, just you know, just stronger in general. Frame data didn't change. All right, now this this is this is a big one. Grab. He just has a regular grab now. No more hook shot, right? 
you can just run up and grab. Hookshot is cool and all, but being able to grab is huge. And it just makes the character so much better. Just just from that, just immediately. Uh, his up special finally got the attention that everybody wanted. Um, it looks a lot better. It doesn't last quite as long. Uh, the hitboxes aren't as insane looking. And uh, the animation in the air... It it just looks a lot, it just looks so much better, right? It uh, you're not like hanging in the air for no reason. Um, you did lose some some height and distance, but it's still a good move. You can still recover most of the time, and it still has like the multi hit into the strong hit at the end. Um, still a very good move. It's just not done anymore. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um, so his boomerang got a change. It's not a, it's not a visual change, but it goes faster. But as you can see, the, the knockback is reduced. So you're not like, um, it doesn't put them in tumble anymore. Uh, what this does is it, it just makes the, makes comboing with it a little simpler. Um, you don't have to worry about them teching or anything like that. Uh, it's a cool change. Again, that they're faster but uh, less knockback. And then down special, this is a pretty major change. No longer has the bombs. He has the bomb chew, which when thrown will travel along the ground until it goes off stage or hits someone. Pretty cool. Um, you, you know, I could throw it at the ground, throw it in the air, throw it on this platform. Very cool attack. Um, it, it, what it does is it, it kind of like lets you set up a few. Like you could throw one up, pull out another one, throw it down. That will arm you down. Uh, very cool attack. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, excited for the young link changes. Um, he also had some adjustments to attributes. Right, his false his um, fall speed acceleration uh, was increased. His max airspeed was reduced. Uh, his acceleration in the air was reduced. His base jump height was increased. Jump height multiplier reduced. Jump to height multiplier reduced slightly. So yeah, it's, he, he, he will play differently, right? The airspeed is different, the jump height is different. But uh, with all these new changes, he feels great. Um, feels more like a unique character and less just like better Link. But I mean, let's be real, he's still better Link. All right, some more changes. Uh, Ganondorf got some, some animation textures updated same with marth kirby uh, got some some bugs some glitches fixed with his kirby powers like the falco and the sonic ones chic now has a uh, victory music and uh, the forward throw animation was improved i don't know if you remember the old forward throw the the opponent would kind of like teleport just like like glide through space before it thrown it was it was kind of goofy looking so that's nice uh, a few characters got their hurt boxes updated. You see Sheik, Bowser, uh, Giga Bowser got updated hurt boxes. And basically what happened was the their hurt boxes got, got increased in size uh, to match their model a little bit better. Uh, characters like, like Bowser, not that he needs bigger hurt boxes, my goodness, but he got them. Um, again, Bowser, Sheik, uh, Giga Bowser... I think Young Link also, they they got their hurt boxes increased in size uh, to match their models better. See, uh, Conqueror's grenade will no longer hit allied players when team attack is off. So Conquer Conquer teams rejoice. All right, and there were a lot of improvements to AI in this patch, um, and I, I will not be surprised if we see a lot more later in another patch. 
but they're just like slight adjustments that were made um, one so that the remix cast will connect their attacks more reliably um, they're less likely to sd i think they just for the most part will use um, some grounded specials less uh, that was the, the main cause of uh, the the sds or self self destruct um the remix cast will utilize specials similar to the vanilla cast uh ness and lucas ai no longer recover at a fixed angle so they will um they won't just always recover at the same angle with their their up b right they'll they'll go for slightly different angles um might try and hit an opponent go closer to ledge that kind of stuff and they won't try to absorb attacks they can't absorb like sheik's needle or conquer's um nut Removed Remix AI improvements from Vanilla 1P, Race to the Finish, and All-Star Modes. Oh, okay. So if you're playing the Vanilla um, one-player mode or All-Star Mode, then the uh, these Remix AI improvements are not there. This is going to be a really cool feature as it gets worked on in later patches, but level 10 CPUs have been added. So as as we all know, it always went up to level nine, but now now you can have level ten, and this is definitely not a finished feature at this point. But some characters will do some pretty crazy stuff in level ten. Um, Fox will, Fox and Lucas will will do like multi shines. Um, Ness does these like DJC nares. He'll he'll go for shield breaks. Um, it's it's pretty cool, but even even just like subtle things like um, you know Jigglypuff still can't be missed. Uh, Jigglypuff will go for like rests now. Whereas the CPU never did that before. There he is. Uh, Jigglypuff will go for rest. Um, all CPUs will also, they're more likely to go for short hop aerials. And you can see this with uh, a lot of a lot of the characters. They'll go for like a, you know, a short hop Nair to like get out of trouble. See so like short hop Dare, Samus is doing like short hop dares. It's like tech chases, followed up by back airs. So overall, um, the CPUs are just better. It's nothing, it's nothing insane quite yet. Uh, but I think it'll get there, and it'll be really cool. With new characters comes new stages, and especially new bonus stages. Marina and DDD both get uh, Break the Targets and Board the Platform stages, and they're pretty fun because they both utilize their own special... Uh, new abilities like, you know, like the clan pot uh, for Marina and her break the targets, and DDD is able to use his uh, his minions and his. Uh, I'm not very good at it. I'm not sure how to get it to work, but that little guy he can get under there eventually. You know, if he believes and he, and he tries hard enough, uh, maybe maybe someday. Get in there, little guy. There we go. So it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of unique things with uh, the bonus stages here. And they break the targets, the board the platforms. And one cool thing uh, DDD has is actually down near at the bottom. This really cool scrolling texture with these, uh, these little mountains. You have to try and land on the platforms. And if you miss them, you, you you get stuck in the abyss here. Oh no. We got some new stages though. We got uh, Glacial River Remix, which is something people have wanted for a while, a flat version of Glacial River. Um, the only downside about it for, for me, uh, that platform's a little high. So uh, I probably won't be using it very much, but uh, if it gets lowered next patch, I'll definitely include it in my, my rotation of competitive stages. But it's brand new stages. We did get a couple. Um, actually, before that, we got a remix version of Dragon King, 
after that uh the sakurai showcase uh he showed off this stage so the the team made this but brand new stages we have this dracula's castle from castlevania it's really cool looking uh, it's huge has some definite definite like uh temple you know temple vibes to it with uh, the, the fight the fight pit down here that should be definitely definitely some fun times uh, <laughs> will be had down there and uh, it's not just this Dracula's castle there's a remix version of it where the entire thing is flipped upside down you know there are new clippings new like ledges to grab and that kind of stuff but it's pretty cool and then the other new stage, of course, is Mount DDD with the boxing ring, uh, moving side platforms. Pretty interesting stage, pretty cool. The uh, the ropes in the boxing ring are actually walls. So there's gonna be some serious shenanigans with people like bouncing off the wall. And you can't land on them really. So that's, that would have been cool if you could like jump off, you know, bounce off the ropes, but not in the cards for this one. A lot of stages this patch got small updates. Um, like Pirate Land, you see the cannonball is now unreflectable. The Great Bay water now has the same water physics as Pirate Land, where you, you know, you like slow down while you're in it. You kind of you kind of float. Well, you don't you don't like float up to the top, but you don't sink quite as fast. Um, which lets you know it makes it easier to like recover and it's just kind of a, it's just a cool feature to have. Um, these these water physics. I, know, I like it. I think it's really cool. Um, but some other stage changes. You see Toad's Turnpike uh, got a new music track. Sector Z had a crash fix. Fountain of Dreams had some music track updates. Peach's Castle had a music track update. Um, Smashville had a, a, a small visual update. And Dragon King got some music updates, but a stage that got a major update is Big Blue. This stage now more closely resembles the melee version with like the big car up top and the smaller ones down below that will move around and get separated a little bit. You still have the, the scrolling uh, road here that you know, drags you in and the front of the car still has that lava floor effect. Which is, which is cool. As you see here, the cars, they split apart. And at some point, the big one kind of like leaves us and goes off to the side here. So another like cool changing moving stage from the Remix team. You see a lot more stages, got music updates, a cool, cool mountain. Actually, cool, that's not a music update. They, they had a, a weird like clipping hazard thing that was messing with CPUs. That got removed, but Ana got music updates, um, and also a crash fix. Stadium got music. Subcon, Corneria, Mementos, Planet Clancer, um, Peach's Castle. That uh, a hazard toggle bug fixed. The Gruta Valley music got updated. It sounds amazing now. Delfino, WarioWare, Kitchen Island, Showdown. All got music updates. Rainbow Road had a weird sound effects thing. Oh, for the movement, but if movement's turned off, it won't happen anymore, so that makes a lot of sense. Taltal got the training mode background changed to a different color. Congo Falls, Green Hill Zone, Winter Dreamland, Dr. Mario, Hyrule Temple, Smash Goodball, Dreamland Beta, Bowser, all got music updates. Uh, Bowser Stadium also had a glitch fix. So that's nice. Some single player updates here. Uh, Ness had a bug fix with his 1P high score. Um, the credits were updated, of course. There was a, a one player sound effect bug that was fixed. In remix one player mode, we had the, you know, the, the victory image is updated, as you can see there. Also in remix one player mode, you can now fight, you will now fight the Remix Polygon team instead of the regular one. You will also, you could also fight the Tiny team. That's a, a, a stage that was added. Um, mushroom items now, ca now uh, count towards the no item bonus. 
There was a CPU giant bug that was fixed. Uh, Osho Castle was removed from Lucas's stage pool, so that's nice. That stage was not fun to play on. Fixed the voice effect. All-star mode no longer shows one player smash ball icon. No longer crashes when a second controller is used sometimes. That was a weird one. Now we get to some new features in the game. This one, definitely going to get a lot of play. Cruel Z cancel mode. Uh, it punishes you when you miss your Z cancel. It can do things like bury you. You can set it to random. It can do damage. Has the lava effect, shield break, instant KO, taunt. So this is a, a fun one to mess around with. Uh, the instant KO one is extra funny to me because you're just going along doing your thing and then all of a sudden you're, you're, you're gone. A nice time-saving feature was added to the versus pause menu. Um, if you use D-pad to the right, it'll cycle through the stage's available music tracks. And D-pad down will pick a random music track. So if you want to play a different song, you no longer have to do like a, a reset and go back into the game or even a quick reset. You can just pause and change the track right there. There apparently is also now a maximum zoom level for the camera controls. Uh, I guess it just like went on forever until you crashed the game before. It's pretty funny. Um, I guess zoom in, there's definitely a maximum. Zoom out, I don't know where that max is, but it's uh, it's out there. As you can see, we're uh, stage is gone. And we're, we're we're gone. So I don't know when that ends, but eventually it ends, apparently. On the character select screen, we got a feature we've wanted for a very long time, and that is random. Pressing L will select a random character for you, and you don't have to do any more, like, you know, CPU shenanigans, and you're like, oh, I'll pick the seventh CPU, anything like that. You actually can just press L and pick your random character. Huge quality of life upgrade for a lot of us, and, uh, yeah, that just, just makes life easier. Also in the character select screen, is ob obviously we have 30 slots now. Who knows, maybe they'll never be filled. Joke's on you guys. The tokens are smaller because the, you know, the, the icons are smaller, so it makes sense. We have an extended range of the cursor now. So you don't have to be like right on top of the icon to hit stuff. It's, it's kind of nice having a, a little bit of a leeway there to hit some of the things. It was, it was tough to hit some of these arrows before. More new settings. In stage settings, the what was previously the Japanese hazard toggle is now called wispy mode. And you can set it to normal Japanese super or hyper. Hyper wispy and super wispy, they both increase the uh, intensity and frequency of the wind. The hyper, it happens just almost constantly. And as you can see, it, it the wind is really intense. Uh, it's like stronger than most a lot of characters' walk speed. So uh, yeah, just it's a little ridiculous. Poor Jigglypuff, you can never use rest. Great new feature for all those uh, keyboard users and Super Nintendo controller users. I don't know. I don't know who else is doing this, but you can now map the D-pad um, in. You know, versus in one player and all that stuff, you can map the D-pad to smash attacks, tilts, specials, or even movement. Um, also on character select, the D-pad can control the cursor after a very short delay. Um, so if you, you know, if you're selecting like variants and stuff, it's not like, you know, gonna move, move the cursor a bunch. I guess it does a little bit, but either way, D-pad functionality now in the game. It is important to note that if you switch the movement to D-pad, um, your L button and Z button essentially get swapped. So L is now shield and uh, Z is now taunt. Uh, it makes sense if you are holding a 64 controller and using the D-pad for movement. Some other new additions, the there are restored unused versus screen transitions that they were able to find somewhere. I don't know how they did it. Uh, fix the debug transition crash. In 12 character battle mode, there is now a polygon. 
preset. We have the Japanese, you know, all the different presets, and but now there's one that's all polygons. Because there's... Why not, right? right? There's so many polygons in the game now. But it is important to know that it is the, the vanilla cast that shows up for the uh, polygon preset. There is no, like, remix polygon preset. Uh, fix the crash. Fix character select screen crash. Issue with tokens and picking them up. Let's see. Giant Mewtwo, Saffron City, Dreamland, Crash. Uh, very specific crash, but it's fixed. Music previewed in Remix Toggles, now persistent menu. That's helpful. Disabled cinematic entry for scene camera mode. Now, if you haven't checked out the scene camera mode, it's from the last patch, definitely do. Uh, you get some really cool shots for that. Remember, there was, a, there was this guy on Twitter that was doing like the Pikachu on vacation pictures. It was pretty cool. Got to follow that for like a week. But definitely check out the new camera modes. A new addition to the uh, special hitbox display, uh, Absorb and Reflect now have their own colors. So you can see the, the size of those where previously you couldn't. That's kind of nice. Some of them are pretty huge. I was a little surprised. Oh, let's see. Also, the music profiles were updated when you, you know, when you go into the uh, the music settings, they have the different profiles. Slappers only, staff picks. Those were updated with some of the new tracks. Uh, we said the credits were updated. So the extended handicap mode, uh, it's not just the, the numbers now. You have the d different characters from one player mode for, in their different difficulties like Polygon, very hard, or Giant DK, very hard, Metal Mario, Master Hand. Um, so really expanded on the handicap options. The combo meter was updated to work in one player modes and it hides itself when a, a stock is taken or lost because the, the plus minus one that pops up. Another toggle that got added to the remix settings, if you saw in the trailer, was tripping because we're just adding all sorts of shenanigans this patch. You can set it to low, high, or brawl. Um, the probability of tripping on low as, is 1% and one and a quarter for turn run. And I've been told that it multiplies by four each level. So it goes to four, four and five percent at high and then multiplying by four again goes to 16 and 20 for the brawl settings um i've also been told that the actual tripping settings for brawl are one and one and a quarter so this is just a meme and 16 and 20 is not what actual brawl was like but it's a pretty crazy way to play the game a new item was added we have the uh Pitfall. Pitfall item. We'll turn that on real quick. Uh, this item also utilizes the new uh, berry mechanic where it you know, essentially puts the the opponent into like a stun state that they can they can mash out of. But it puts them in that, that stun state and then they can be, you know, they can be hit or grabbed or, or whatever. We'll, we'll check it out right here. So we got one pitfall item if we hit wario he gets buried and we can we can go hit him if we don't trip uh we could also instead of hitting wario with it we could throw it on the ground and then anyone that runs into it uh will be will be buried if you hit someone in the air with it it has a spike effect and if you place it just on the edge and someone recovering hits it it'll spike them so it's pretty funny some other item changes, uh, mushroom changes, increased KO potential. Kind of confused by that one. But mushrooms didn't do damage. Uh, the crash was fixed, but Blue Shell also had a crash that was fixed. Franklin, bad Franklin badge changes. Uh, now, if you have it, you're completely immune to any projectiles and items. So like explosions, things like that. And duration was changed to an insane 30 seconds. I, I don't really understand how that happened, but that's that's wild. 30 seconds is forever. 
Um, the badge, there are a couple bugs that were fixed with the badge um, as far as its deactivation and everything. So it's all, it's all good now. And I can't believe I almost forgot this, but fun Easter egg. If I turn off shield break mode, when you grab someone as Marina and cargo, if you're holding L when you shake, shake them, shake. you will say shake, 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 and not furry, furry. So it uses the English voice line. Just a fun little Easter egg. Um, shake, shake. Definitely. Uh, I'm. I'm. I gotta like consider rebinding. Uh, rebinding taunt now, so I can do this uh, a little less awkwardly. But yeah, very cool. I'm glad they included the English voice line. I think uh, a lot of us wanted to hear it, but uh, this, this is great. So go do that. But that's uh, that's it. That's everything. Uh, another great patch. You know, new characters, new fe new fun features, new stages. Uh, always always exciting to get these things and be able to try them out. And I don't know. It's just it. This this mod really is. Uh, like the best thing that's happened to the, the Nintendo 64 um, in a long, long time. Maybe, maybe ever. Who knows? But it's awesome. The, the, everyone that works on it does a great job um, from the, the musicians to the stage designers to the, the modelers to even even some of those testers. Um, occasionally, occasionally they do useful things. But happy to play it, happy to be involved and uh, excited to see what, what comes next. I know, uh, I know some of the things I want to see. Uh, if you have some stuff that you want to see, let me know in, uh, in the comments. Please don't, please don't send me messages and stuff. I, I don't actually have any influence over this. I am just curious. But yeah, well, uh, it was six months since the last update. Who knows when we'll get another one. But until then, have fun and uh, I'll see ya.